Hey, welcome to another episode of Collins Customs Garage. I didn't do an interlude or prelude, whatever you want to call it, to what job I'm doing today, but found something out. Got the job done, but I found something out. I installed a trailer hitch on my Explorer. Um, and to do this job, I'll show you. There's a hanger right here. Take it free from this piece right here, the actual muffler hanger. There's one over there too. And then there's one right there. Take it free right here. Then you take a strap and you go across from there to there. So when you drop the exhaust, it lands on the X strap. Okay, pretty easy, right? Yep, that's what I thought too. Which that part was easy. But in doing so, I bought the trailer hitch and I bought the valence piece that had the hole for the trailer hitch. I wasn't truly thinking when I bought it. I just bought it because I was like, okay, well, it's the rear valence piece, cover everything you need because the trailer hitch is going to fit up into this little tiny hole. Well, when you buy an aftermarket one, that doesn't come factory, even though it's still... The factory um, name brand that they use, it goes lower. So if you buy it, you end up with this hole and then this thing. I mean, it is barely, it's like, it's pressing on that just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but I have a hole here now. Yeah, and that sucks. And, but the cover piece is on the way. So it looks like that cover piece is going to get put in and never be taken off. Now, this piece hangs below it. It's going to look dumb. It truly is. But, job is done. All right. Pieces that are going to come off and stay off. This piece, which was on the passenger side. That piece, which was on the driver's side, which also had your little pull hook for it on the back side. Only tools I used, because I don't have them fancy little grommet pliers, was... A long flat blade slash pry bar screwdriver. A shorter flat blade screwdriver. That black strap. And my impact over there. I also grabbed this extension. Which was making it easier to come apart. Or when I was taking the old stuff off. Um, and so on and so forth with that. There is a bolt that you have to install in the frame. The instructions tell you in it, but there is a bolt that you put this little thing on, which now it's stretched because I pulled the mess out of it to get it off. You put, you thread it onto the bolt. Then there's a like quarter inch, a little bit thicker, um, little metal washer. It's like that long, that wide, and it's got a hole for a carriage bolt. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm sorry if you can't, but right over my fingers pointing that's the bolt you thread it up in there then you thread the grommet the washer piece up in there and you get it where it sits where it runs with the frame it runs parallel with the frame that's what you want to do and then you can take the jack if you're by yourself like i always am nothing against the wife or my kids it's, i just don't trust them to operate the jack while i'm underneath the car um but you put a block of wood, which my block of wood's right there. Put a block of wood on the bottom of this thing. Put, put it on the jack. Jack it straight on up. When you get it up, it you can sit it on the exhaust. It's not going to hurt anything because the strap's going to take the brunt. That's going to be up there. And then you take this little wire right here and you fish it down through the trailer hitch. Get it up in there. And then you'll thread that bolt. What I do, because it was... I knew I would mess it up and end up pushing the bolt up out of the hole and all that crap. I threaded it lightly, and then when I got it started, I pulled down on it while I turned it. So I got it up to where it was snug, and then I impacted it in with that. It says it's roughly 100 pounds per bolt. Um, I did not do that. I did the old redneck trick, the two ahugas on the impact over there. And... As you can see, the whole thing moves. It's solid. It's in there. 
and I'll be giving a test tomorrow because I gotta go help my mother-in-law move. Which, see this thing? I ain't gonna be moving a whole lot, but I'm gonna be driving the truck. So, with that being said, this is a very short episode of Collins Customs Garage, but I haven't been able to work on that thing because of this. So, I'm doing things where I can sit down. So, thank y'all for tuning in. If you like the video, hit the like. If you don't like it, hit thumbs down. If you want to give a little credit to a backyard mechanic, a little redneck guy that wants to do his own work and doesn't like paying other people to do it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification. That way you'll see it when something pops up. But um, until next time, thank y'all for tuning in. And this is Collins Customs Garage.